Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I want to try to make some bow drill friction fire with this wooden spoon. And I know it's a novelty, but what we really want to take away from today's lesson is how hard it is to make bow drill friction fire with such a small diameter spindle. And this spoon is just 7 sixteenths in diameter and a small spindle will tend to just want to drill right through the fireboard without actually making enough heat to make charred dust and then to, to for that charred dust to ignite. So you might say, well, all you have to do is let up on the pressure. But you're limited by how little pressure you can apply by the bearing block that you're using. If you're using a standard bearing block like a piece of fat wood or another piece of hardwood, you have to apply a certain amount of pressure just to hold the whole thing together. Just think about it. Think about it, if you kept letting up on the pressure on your bearing block more and more and more, you'd eventually, the whole thing would eventually fall apart. So you're sort of right there at the threshold, right at the borderline of how little pressure you need to apply to hold the whole thing together and how much is too much to not drill through the board too fast. So I'm going to remedy that today by using my bearing block with the metal bearing in it, which uh, that should help me hold it all together, put just a minimal amount of pressure on it, and give the spindle a chance to do its job with the fireboard and make dust, heat that dust up to the point of ignition. So let's see if I could still do a wooden spoon. I think I did it five, six years ago. Let's see if I can still do it. I better keep my pine needles dry. I'll stick them in my pocket for right now. I'll put that in my pocket to keep it dry also. Oh, I didn't get a very square cut right there. Let me try to shape it up a little bit. That's good. Let's try that. I'll turn this over to the dry side. And uh, my bow, let's see. Well, that's, that needs to be tighter than that. It needs to be all the way tight. Take all the slack out. This little sprinkle, this little sprinkle, I think, is just passing through. But uh, 
about four o'clock today. We got some bad thunder showers coming through upstate South Carolina. Let's see if we can give it a light enough touch, keep it all together, and still make an ember. Now that's the chance you take when you cut your notch before you do your burn in. The notch isn't even into that divot. So we'll make that correction and try it again. Boy, we're into the divot now. Let's try that and see if that doesn't work better. I always like to take this little bit of a corner off right here. Let's try that. That's exactly what happens when you try to let up on the pressure. The whole thing flies apart. One thing you could do to not have to use so much downward pressure is to have a looser bowstring. And if you get it too loose, of course, you can use your thumb and press down on it to tighten it up. So let me loosen this up about a quarter of an inch. Now, now I won't have to press down so hard to keep everything held together.
wet. Everything is wet, isn't it? All right, y'all. You'll basically want to stay away from very small diet, from very small diameter spindles. But if you have to use one, let up on that pressure as best you can. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.